what's going on guys welcome to your 58th biology lesson and in this lesson we're gonna to start to look at genetics so what is genetics well a really simple explanation is the study of genes and I'm not talking about you know the study of designer genes from the mall I'm talking about the genes in your body now whenever we understand genetics it allows us to understand how sexually reproducing organisms first of all we begin to understand why they're so diverse and also how the parents pass their traits onto their offspring. So, you know, I'm talking about traits and genes, so let's go ahead and before we get into the details of how genetics works and what it is and everything, let's go ahead and look at some basic terminology. So first of all, whenever I say traits, what I'm talking about is basically characteristics and some traits for you would be your eye color, your hair color, and they don't always have to be physical traits. They don't always have to be something that you can see and we'll learn about the different kinds of traits later on. Now one of the categories of traits is heritable traits. Now whenever I say heritable traits, I basically mean traits that are inherited from one generation to the next. So if your mom had blue eyes and you have blue eyes, that would be a heritable trait. Now the last, you know, kind of terminology I want to go over right now is gene because, you know, that's what genetics is, the study of genes. So a gene is basically a portion of DNA. So we have DNA right here and of course we have the different nucleotides and genes are actually different sizes but whenever we say a gene in a very you know common broad sense we mean that a portion of the DNA that basically determines a certain trait in an organism so basically what I'm trying to say is DNA is the genetic code for the traits of an organism. So basically what you look like or your traits are based on how your DNA is coded or how it's put together. So whenever organisms reproduce, what they're going to do is they copy their DNA and they pass some of it onto their offspring. So that's why their offspring inherit some of their traits because they inherit some of their DNA. So let's go ahead and ask the question, if that's the case, why aren't offspring exactly like their parents? Now the reason that whenever you have a kid, that kid doesn't look exactly like you or exactly like your wife or you know your girlfriend or you know the girl you met at the bar, the reason that they aren't exactly like you is first of all because whenever they're inheriting what you have to give them, your traits, they get half of the genetic info from their mom and half from you, the dad, unless you're you know a girl watching these tutorials, then they get half from the female, half from the male. Now we already know that thanks to meiosis in something called crossing over, every single sperm in your body, again, hopefully you don't have any sperm in your body if you're a girl, unless you know you just got done doing the deed, then you probably do, but every single sperm in your body or egg is completely unique. Each one has a completely unique chromatid thanks to, you know, like I said, meiosis and crossing over. Now also, aside from that, Whenever, you know, an offspring is forming, a human being is forming, a sperm and an egg are going to come together. So every single combination is completely unique. So even if you had identical sperm by, you know, the most random chance in the universe, well, that would mean that the egg would also need to be perfectly identical to one, each other, one another to have completely similar offspring. So that's basically why even if you have brothers and sisters, you guys are all very different. Because remember that I said, thanks to meiosis and crossing over, every single sperm is unique. And also whenever you combine it with an egg, the combinations are also unique. Now another thing I want to talk about is mutations. Now mutations are another thing that can cause offspring to be slightly different from the parents and they can actually cause offspring to be very different than the parents in some situations. So when I talk about mutations, let me go ahead and draw a DNA molecule. So we'll say that this is a perfectly normal healthy DNA molecule and we'll draw the little nucleotides in it. Looking pretty freaking good right there. Alright, so this is a perfect DNA molecule. D 
DNA. Now, a mutation is something that alters the DNA and causes it to change slightly. So, of course, if we have a perfect DNA and we change it by a little bit, that would mean that something is going to go wrong in your cell. It would either die or it it might behave slightly different, may cause cancer or something like that. So that's what a mutation is, something that causes DNA to kind of change or mutate in a way. Now what can cause mutations or what kind of things can cause DNA to act up or change? Well the first thing is DNA polymerase. Now remember I said that DNA polymerase is the molecule responsible, or it's one of them, responsible for replicating or copying DNA whenever you need a copy of it. Well, that's good and all, but DNA polymerase isn't always perfect. Whenever it copies, it can actually make mistakes, so you may start out with a perfect molecule of DNA, but you may end up with one that's slightly different, slightly mutated, and we'll blame that one on DNA polymerase. Now, DNA polymerase isn't the only reason for mutations. There are a couple other ones, and one of the most common ones that scientists are looking at now are chemicals. So say that these are harmful chemicals that get in your cell and you know affect the DNA. Maybe these chemicals came from cigarettes, or maybe you ate some processed food. Anyways, these harmful chemicals right here can actually alter the molecules in DNA and cause chemical reactions that actually mutate them. So chemicals in DNA polymerase are some things that mutate DNA, and another thing is actually forms of radiation like x-rays. So if you are exposed to a lot of radiation, or if you, you know walk through an x-ray machine every day of your life, then what these x-rays can do is they can actually physically knock some of these molecules off the DNA or rearrange them, so that can cause your DNA to mutate as well. So again, those are some reasons that the offspring may be different than the parent even though they inherited all the DNA correctly because even though they inherited that DNA molecule correctly, factors from the environment or natural factors such as DNA polymerase can make mistakes and it can cause weird mutations and whenever we have a weird mutation in DNA, we can have some weird traits in the offspring.